Hi Street Lawyers, welcome back to another episode of Street Law. Today we are talking about money lending. That guy at office that is known to lend all of you money or you are the guy that lends other people money. Somebody asked for some money and you sent it. They told you they are paying back in one week. It's now two years they haven't paid it back. Who is supposed to lend money and at what interest rate? So welcome to Street Law with your host, Aine. So money lending is very broad, but today we are just going to talk about who can lend money and at what interest rate they should lend it at. Um, you probably have lent somebody money and they were supposed to pay back in this period of time. They have never paid back and finally they started tasking you to produce a money lender's license telling you that you're not legally um, licensed to do the business that you are doing now money lending is regulated by a law called the tier 4 microfinance institutions and money lenders act I, I don't think that's a lot of english for you you're the street lawyers anyway so that is the law that regulates money lending in Uganda. So the other laws around it that govern that relationship are things like the Contracts Act and yeah, among others. But the primary law that regulates money lenders and maybe circles and other institutions is the Tier 4 Microfinance Institutions and Money Lenders Act. Now, that law prohibits anybody from carrying on the business of money lending without a license. In other words, for you to continue doing the business of money lending without a license, it is criminal. You are not supposed to do that without a license. So that same law creates or has created a body in place to give people these licenses. And that body is called Uganda Microfinance Regulatory Authority. Uh, it is popularly known as UMRA. It is the body that licenses all money lenders in the country. And now, when we get to UMRA, we realize that UMRA does not give money lending licenses to individuals. They only do that for companies. If you want to lend money, you incorporate a company and then you go to Umrah and you get a license. If you want to operate a loan and wako uh, having shareholders and ETC, you can do what they call a single member company so that you are in there alone. But the essence is that you have formed a company which UNRA can license. Now, for every other individual, that guy at your office, you the person doing money lending business if you are doing it for business for profit you're charging interest but without a license which of course you don't have because you're an individual you are doing something that is criminal this does not mean that you're not allowed to lend to give a friend of yours some 50 million shillings to complete a certain purchase the law still allows you to freely contract with any other person. It allows you to, to lend money on a friendly, or rather on friendly terms without charging interest. Because once you get into charging interest, that means you're doing this for a business. And for you to do this for a business, you must be licensed. So I think I'm very clear when it comes to that. Only companies can be licensed to do this business. Individuals are not licensed by UMRA, but individuals can lend money. You can lend money to your friend, to your colleague, to your boss, to anybody, but you are not supposed to charge interest. Now, the other thing is, what interest should a money lender charge you? What is the legal interest as per the law? Uganda is a very free economy, so the issue of interest has been left to the people operating this business, the money lenders themselves. They are at liberty to charge you the interest they find reasonable. In fact, the courts have tried to weigh in on this and they have said that 
money lenders should charge what is reasonable. But of course, that is also another gray area. What is reasonable is subjective. What is reasonable to me might not be reasonable to you. But there are so many money lenders in town. Umrah licenses over 1,000 money lenders per year. So it's competitive. If this one is charging you 5%, you can go to another one who is charging 3%. Others charge 20%. 30% maybe they find it reasonable so currently there is no law that regulates interest for money lenders in the country I hope I'm very very clear about that now there has been um, a decision that has been made by court there was a decision that was made by court about individuals lending for interest um, if you ask my two cents about that in that decision, the judge said that it, it, it's okay for an individual to, to charge interest because they have that freedom to contract. So they have still the freedom to charge interest for as long as it's willing lender, willing borrower. If you ask my two cents about that, it was a decision that was reached in error because the other decisions actually prohibit the charging of interest by individuals. Why? Because the primary law that governs money lending, like I've told you, already prohibits people to do this without a license. So things to do with freedom of contract that you have, those are secondary when we are talking about the business of money lending or when we are talking about money lending. So do not be caught off guard concerning that. But also I have seen some people use, take advantage of the fact that somebody lent me money, charged me interest, they didn't have a license, so I am going to take them to court. And there are several court decisions about that. Yes, it's not going to condone the interest that somebody charged, but court at least will ask you to pay back the money had and received. So we have seen debtors themselves take their creditors to court asking that the entire loan be waived because somebody transacted without a license. It's not in good faith. If somebody has lent you money, if they've done it in error and charged you interest, then at the very least, you must pay back their principal. And the law is cognizant of that. The law indeed is going to award them their principal and waive off the interest. So that, like I told you, street law is here to empower you to know how to deal on a daily to relate with your business partners in your family affairs to holistically empower you so that's it from street law today if you haven't subscribed <laughs> i don't know what you want in life kindly subscribe it's the best way you can empower me to keep bringing this content to you also you can like the video you can leave a comment you can ask a personal question by dropping an email which is to the email that is on the screen um thank you very much for watching bye bye, bye.